Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. Welcome to the news. Two Chicago police officers were shot yesterday. One was shot in the head and killed. Uh, the other one is gravely injured and is in critical condition. The $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill is slowly moving forward. Uh, they need 60 votes, so they will need 10 Republicans to go along with them. After this is passed, they're going to work on the $3.5 trillion. This bill will only require 50 votes to pass it. So with the 50 Democrats and the vice president with the tiebreaker, they will be able to pass this one. San Francisco Sheriff, they have over 700 deputies. 160 of them are refusing to take the COVID vaccination shot. Uh, they are threatening to leave or to retire. Also, Israeli Defense Minister for weeks ha have been pushing uh, the war with Iran scenario. He said yesterday that in 10 weeks, Iran will have enough of weapons grade material to make the bomb. So they will have to act before this. Also, another agricultural catastrophe in France. France is the second uh, largest winemaker and they have suffered about a 30% loss of crop. This is due to the spring frost that they had and then they had excessive rain in the summertime which led to diseases in the plants. Afghanistan, the Taliban is marching. They control about 50% of the land. Uh, we are sending B-52s, actually they're already developing or dropping bombs, B-52s and AC-130 Spectre gunships. Uh, they're trying to protect three key towns that they need to protect in Afghanistan. Um, U.S. Embassy has also said to all Americans to immediately leave. Uh, many companies were going to bring their corporate workers back this fall, but they have postponed that. Um, probably not at all this year. This is Wells Fargo, Amazon, Dell, and lots of major companies. CDC has not mandated that their employees get the COVID vaccine shot. I find this ironic seeing they're the ones that are saying it's very safe. Hopefully, um, if they did force them, that maybe someone in the CDC would bring forth information that would help all of us. Lastly, but most importantly, uh, Boston Court has taken the parental custody of a 14-year-old away from the parents because the 14-year-old would like to get vaccinated and the parents say no. Uh, the mother of this uh, the parents is a biotech executive from a well-to-do family so they are fighting it so far I do not believe the child has been vaccinated there is some appeals and hopefully next week uh, good common sense will prevail and give the parents the control over this vaccine thanks for watching